and um, the ballad you would have seen in DC for the Maitlands, uh, which is now Barbara 2.0, that got replaced with another ballad um, that then got finally replaced with Barbara 2.0. You know, we had the boy band um, uh, in the netherworld, but then there was like also lots of interesting different things. There was this a time when in the netherworld, um, we had a f quite a few different songs from the netherworld, but there was one ensemble number where um, it was it was kind of satirical. So Alex Timbers was scared of it. He was like, he's like, I don't know if we want to put kind of like social satire in the show because it can go really wrong. And, you know, especially with subsequent performers, performances of it, you know, it, it doesn't age well, blah, blah, blah. But I had this, this song called Super Polite, which was everybody being very American and very polite and nice to each other, but living in absolute fear, this sort of totalitarian regime where, you know, people are sort of stolen. And it was, a, yeah, anyway. Um, so that, that that was an I a vision of sort of like dystopia and everybody must, you know, um, obey the regime or, you know, or else that was my vision of the netherworld. But, you know, we had so many different visions of the netherworld. Um, I wrote the opening number, like I said, I wrote a demo for the opening number, which was um, Death's Not Great, which was just a whole bunch of people at a funeral just kind of going, well, it isn't, is it? It's not great. And, uh, you know, why are we, it's, it sucks, just, you know. Um, and so that uh, that got cut. And then we cycled through many different versions of opening numbers. Um, and there was a swing duet between Beetlejuice and Lydia, which is probably one of my favorite songs. Sort of like in the style of um, Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., Me and My Shadow. It's called You Can Only Work With What You Get. And it was sort of a buddy buddy swing duet number that the two of them sang together. And that, like, that became that beautiful sound. But it was like, you know, we're, you know, we're, on an, we're an unlikely partnership. And that was one of those songs that I wrote and then the, um, and then the script changed. But um, I remember everyone, producers included, really putting the pressure on Anthony and Scott to try and make that song work for the show. But they were like, nah. <laughs> Obviously fine, but um, there wasn't much plot happening in it, and it was really just sort of like a duet. But it was them, you know. The, the song was just full of, um, you know, things that go together but are horrible, you know, like Jews and Mel Gibson, and um, yeah, Coca Cola and Pepsi, flashing lights and epilepsy. It was. And that was a yeah a big show-stopping thing with a, with an encore and everything you know that would have been super fun to do, um, but anyway that's uh, yeah so that was one of them as well so yeah a lot of a lot of stuff hit the floor a lot of it's not not great um, or it was just a kind of a verse and a chorus you know um, there was a duet between Beetlejuice and um, there's a love duet between Beetlejuice and the magician's assistant. You know, she's sort of in, you know, from the movie, there's a magician's assistant, she's sort of in two halves. So there was a kind of a, um, there was a, uh, All of You, I think it was called, where Beetlejuice is like, you know, like, um, you know, I love, you, you know, it was basically I just turned myself inside out talking about m mathematics, really. It was like, um, uh, I'm going to try and remember it. Um, Essentially, the idea is that all of me, all of me is into you, but only half of you is into me. And you know, normally it's like you know, fifty-fifty relationship, but it's more like kind of fifty-twenty-five because you know your legs are off, you know. And she's like, I can't, you know, like I find it hard to trust now because you know, um, I was a magician's assistant, and you know, he, he, he killed me, and now. You know, I've got to, it's hard to find love for both of our sections. That was a ridiculous kind of love triangle song with two people. It was very weird. <laughs> Each of these uh, songs were, you know, like you, you basically just find the most ridiculous idea and then you know, march around with it in your head. And how does this work, you know? Um, and <laughs> I had a, it had a lyric that I really liked in it, which, which was, um, half a sandwich is still a sandwich. <laughs> um, 
That was so stupid. So, uh, but that represented like a good two weeks of my life, um, you know, reading up on my algebra and my, um, and my, my triangles and it was stupid, stupid. 